You need to set your desired outcomes, set your goals that you have, your intentional, purpose-driven goals, and then scratch them. Forget about them. Because you're going to get there with those daily disciplines and created habits. That's how you get productive. That's how you accomplish goals. Not by obsessing with the goals, but obsess with the habits and the daily disciplines that are going to get your outcomes. Be- What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today is really, really a culmination of several of the previous episodes. I say it all the time. You really need to watch. We're over a year into this thing where we have not missed a single week. So this is like episode 50 something here. You really need to watch all the previous episodes. And you should be. And you'll get a full education on these episodes. But today we're talking about productivity. And if you combine dozens of of the previous episodes. We're going to kind of touch on some topics that we did entire episodes on. So I might even refer you to previous episodes because we're talking about what is productivity and how to be more productive as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a leader. So first off, all right, what is productivity? What's the definition of productivity in, in the book, in the dictionary? And productivity is the quality, state, or fact of being able to generate, create, enhance, or bring forth goods and services. That's like the actual textbook, dictionary.com definition. And it's also the rate at which goods and services having exchange value are brought forth or produced. So your your productivity is producing, able to produce in a timely manner. That's what it is. Having capacity, a stronger capacity, an abundance. It's also a, a richness or a potency is what it's about. Having the power of producing, obviously productivity is the power of producing, being generating things or creative is what productivity is about. So what is my, always have my real freakified version of productivity. What does productivity mean? To me, productivity, most people think means productivity means getting more shit done. And that's not really what productivity means because it doesn't matter how much shit you get done if it's useless shit or if it's not done in a, in a, a, a timely manner or a, a according to deadlines or if it's not producing the outcomes you're looking for or if it's wasting time or if it's not effective or efficient. So to me, productivity is not just getting more shit done. Productivity is getting more quality, excellent work done in less time so that you have more time to do the shit that you really want to be doing or to you ha- so that you have more time to do more productive, high-quality work. So productivity is getting more, sh- more quality work done in less time so you have more time to do the things you want to be doing or time to do more quality work. To me, that's what productivity is. And so now let's dive into, all right, how do you even become more productive? And first off, and we're going to break this down, a lot of these really do dig into previous episodes. So a lot of these topics, we do deep dives on single episodes, but let's start off with, with habits and daily disciplines because discipline will defeat distraction. And distraction is the number one fucking killer. Distraction and overwhelm are the killers of productivity. Distraction, overwhelm, also I'll say maybe not living according to your working according to your purpose and higher calling, the work that fucking lights you up with passion. Again, we've done separate episodes on almost all those topics. But discipline overall will defeat distraction. Distraction is the number one killer of productivity when it comes down to it. So you need to get obsessed, fucking obsessed with the habits, not just the outcomes. You need to set your desired outcomes, set your goals that you have, your intentional, purpose-driven goals, and then... Fucking scratch them. Forget about them. Because you're going to get there with those daily disciplines and created habits. That's how you get productive. That's how you accomplish goals. Not by obsessing with the goals, but obsess with the habits and the daily disciplines that are going to get your outcomes. Because the outcomes only fucking happen 
because of the habits, because of the daily disciplines. So stick with daily disciplines, even when it feels like you're not going anywhere. Keep doing what you know you should be freaking doing. Hold the fucking line and determine what's worth sticking with and what's a waste of time or no longer freaking serving you. And you need to, in order to be productive, we need to kind of set the table before we actually talk about actual in the trenches, tangible strategies and tactics on productivity. Before you do that, we got to kind of set the table for that. We always start with the kind of mind frame and the mindset and the approach you need to have. So first you need to do is just get that crystal clear clarity on what the fuck you truly want in life in general so that your visions and actions are centered and in alignment with your purpose and higher calling. So it lights a fucking fire under your ass every freaking day. That's what's going to make you more productive when you can gain and, and set the table with that crystal clear clarity. That's when you're going to raise up your ambition to the next level with your potential, which we've done previous episodes on, with your purpose, which we've done previous episodes on, with your superpowers as a man, which we've also done previous episodes on. Each of those is a separate episode, so a deep dive on any of those. Go back and check the previous episodes. But you need to raise your levels of ambition and levels of of purpose and power and not let your, your current levels of of ambition be limited by your freaking past. That's not how you become productive by dwelling on the shit from the past or the skills you have or the only the current skills you have because probably the current skills you have are not going to be adequate and efficient to get you to that next level, to be productive, to get to that next level. And the next mindset shift you have when it comes to being productive and you've set that crystal, crystal clear clarity on the direction you go and what is the the purpose-driven goals and, and direction that you're heading in. You don't need to justify that shit. You don't need to justify your goals and your dreams and your freaking legacy to anyone fucking ever, period. That's it. You don't need validation or permission or anyone to fucking understand why this is your direction you're going in because you're not going to be productive if you're letting other people determine or justify or have to understand or you have to explain yourself or your approval seeking or groveling to other people or trying to explain or get permission for your goals and dreams. You just have to give your fucking self permission to define your goals and your dreams and your ambitions. You fucking decide no one else that is needed in order to be productive enough. Otherwise, you're going to have those distractions, people distractions. They're going to suck your energy away and you will not be productive. So another way to be the next stage after that is to be prepared. And we actually have a whole acronym. We've done full episodes on this also about being prepared. It was built into other episodes, so we don't need to dig too much into it, but it's an acronym. Prepare. The first P is for practice. You need to get your practice in to build up your confidence, do your role playing, do whatever you need to do, the practice before the games. Then you need to get your repetitions in. Make sure you're getting enough reps. Do it over and fucking over till it becomes automatic. That even if you fail, you automatically course correct. You've done it so many freaking times building up your competence. So that's practice, it's repetition, then it's excellence. Not half-assing anything. How you do anything is how you do anything. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. Remember, productivity was doing more excellent work. So to be prepared, to be productive, it's got to be have excellence. That's the E in prepare. Then the, the next P is to push and pressure yourself constantly. Push and pressure yourself, push and pressure others push and pressure your beliefs, your limits, your boundaries. That's how you become more productive. Then you become more productive with the A and prepare by preparing is the A is ask questions, ask questions to yourself, ask questions to the norms, like ask questions of the way the average person does shit, ask questions of how you could do it even better, even more efficient, more effective, ask questions of your peers, ask questions of experts. Ask questions for feedback from other people so you can get better, which is going to make you more freaking productive. Then the next R in prepare is for reflection. You will be more productive absolutely if you spend regular time for reflection. Daily, monthly, yearly, get re reflection on how you did every day. What did I do today? How could I do it even better tomorrow? What mistakes did I make? What lessons did I learn? That's what reflection, reflection is massive when it comes to preparing and reflection is massive when it comes to productivity. You must prepare in order to be productive. And finally, the E in prepare is educate. 
You're going to be more productive and be prepared if you educate yourself, educate others. You're constantly reading and studying and researching, learning what you learn something and then freaking teach it, becoming obsessed and dedicated to lifelong learning. Be committed to learning something new every day will make you more freaking productive. That's going to allow you to get more done, more excellent work done. If you use this PREPARE acronym, allow you to get more excellent work done in less time so you have more time to do the shit you want to do or do more excellent work. So that PREPARE is the first actual step. After that, we, we have a full episode, even a full course on morning routine, so we're not going to spend a ton of time in it. We're just going to go over the concept of it. Basically, you need to get back control of your fucking morning. You need to own your day again instead of letting the world or the universe or your fucking email or your boss or your coworkers or your employees or anyone else to control your morning and your day. You need to gain back control of your day and own, of your morning and own your fucking day again. Because if you don't control your morning, the rest of the day will just be you playing catch up. And you no longer own the day. You're just a puppet to the, to the ups and downs and fires of the freaking day and of other people. You'll develop reactionary freaking habits throughout the day in all areas of life. And you'll be in control of fucking nothing. And you will not be productive if you're in control of nothing. If you didn't take charge right from the fucking beginning in your morning routine, you will lose your productivity 100%. You'll lose tons of your productivity just by checking your email within the first hour of waking up. I wait 60 minutes before I'll even look at it. And I'm not even saying responding to it. I'm just looking at it to see what my day looks like, what I'm going to have to deal with when it comes time to actually go work. So your productivity goes out the window. If you check your fucking phone and check your text message, check your emails and check your social media in the first 60 minutes, right away, you are now a less productive day because you're waking up to fucking distraction. You're waking up to the fires and being reactionary, and you're making that a habit, being triggered by this other shit outside of your control, you are no longer in control of your morning, which means you're not in control of your day, which means you are distracted and you're less fucking productive. In that morning routine, you need to activate and take control of yourself, your mind, your body, your energy, your hydration. There's a full thing on morning routines. You can check out that full episode dedicated to morning routines. We have a full course. If you're watching this, Send me a message. I will even send you the entire full course on morning routines and all the daily routines for absolutely free. It's like a $50 course. I'll send it to you for free if you send me a message after you're watching this episode. So you need to set the intention in that morning routine for the exact fucking work you're going to do for that day. So you're in charge. You know what you're doing. You're planning for excellence. Remember, productivity was more excellent work in less time. The way you're going to do that is by planning for that excellence in the, the tail end of that morning routine. I'll do that at the end of my morning routine when I've taken care of myself, my mind, my clarity, my, my visions, my goals, and all that other stuff, my reflections. I'll go into some excellence planning. Like, all right, what is coming up today? How do I need to show up today? How can I perform with fucking excellence today and make today even better than yesterday? How can I attack and approach each meeting or task or whatever's on the schedule? I'm taking a quick look at it where I just fucking dominate it and I'm so productive that it's just excellent and blowing them away with the fucking excellence in this task. Like, how can I do that? And then I'll ask myself, what do I need to do today to make every event that I have coming up or every podcast or whatever it is, how do I make it fucking awesome? Every activity, what do I need to do? How do I need to operate? How do I need to show up? What kind of energy do I need to bring to the table? What kind of discipline do I need to have? And I'll go through that as many times as fucking needed to make sure that I'm showing up productive, efficient, effective, disciplined with fucking energy and fire so that I'm more productive, getting more excellent work done in less time. And then the next thing after that is time blocking. You have to have time blocking. Again, we have entire episodes and an entire full $200 course on time blocking. But the point is you need to work on the needle moving activities. You need to prioritize your day, identify the things that are in your top five to 20% that you should be doing, disregard all the rest, push it aside. We'll get into delegation in a second, but you need to work on the needle moving activities, the top tasks of the day, identify those things that matter the most and push aside all the other bullshit and all the other distractions, work on that top 20% of what you know that matters and eliminate that 80% of just the fucking busy work that other people average men think 
means being productive, but not you, motherfucker. You know the difference. You your five moves for today. What are the major moves today, this day, that's going to help you accomplish those big goals, that lifestyle that you're looking after, that big goal and that destiny and that, that legacy you're looking to live that you could do today? What moves, what tasks can you do today that are in alignment with those big moves? And when you're prioritizing this stuff, it might be the first thing in the morning when you do this kind of work. It might be right before your workout. It might be after your workout. You need to play around with it. Figure out when are you going to have the highest impact with taking away the least amount of energy and effort from you? Like what is the optimal time for each day for a specific task that use the least amount of energy and still have the energy for the rest of your day? And it gives you the, the highest impact and the greatest level of excellence. Like what times of day should you be doing certain activities? So when you're doing your time blocking, it should be very strategic. And doesn't necessarily mean the hardest tasks get done first thing in the morning. For me, that kill time is after my morning routine, I do a start a work day routine. Then I go into my kill time. That's probably the hardest tasks of the day. That's right before my workout. So when I go into my workout, I know I've already gotten some of the main, hard, needle moving activities done. But maybe for you and your schedule, your energy, you have to put it in a different place. Whenever you're going to have the energy for that hardest task should be a time of day when you have optimal energy for that specific type of task, whatever that main needle moving activity is for the day, that it's not going to fucking be at the wrong time of day where you're not able to attack it. Remember, excellent. Do getting more excellent work done. So you need to explore this shit a little bit, experiment with, try different things, test out different high impact times that work for you. Figure out what's going to suit you and it might not be the first thing in the morning. It might be before lunch. Whatever works for you for that hardest shit or the most important shit for you for the day. But that, that doesn't mean that you're pushing stuff off. You're just finding the optimal time to do it with the highest level of energy and excellence in that day. And when it comes to productivity, we usually overestimate what we can do in a week, but we underestimate what we, what we could do in a year. So we put too much shit on our plate for a week and we don't get most of it done, then we feel down and we feel like a failure because we didn't complete everything instead of putting stuff in the right place, prioritizing the right way. And again, there are complete episodes on a lot of this stuff, but this is really just putting it all together as a system for productivity to be a purpose-driven freaking man. And also in that time blocking and in that work, realize that there's going to be a certain percentage of boring tasks that just have to get done. There is no optimal time to do it because it just sucks, it's boring, but it's still something that you personally have to do that you can't uh, hand off to anyone else. So now that we have this down, we've done the morning routine, we've got the mindset right, you've prioritized the day, you've set up excellence planning, you've gotten the time blocks in, you've prioritized those time blocks, you have different things done at the right times of day for the right energy, you still need to have transition time. It needs to be makeup time, buffer time, in between different types of tasks, where you are transitioning from one type of task to the other, a little five-minute break. Literally, we're, we're doing episodes right now. This is the fourth episode we're doing in a row. After each episode, I'm getting up. I'm going to get some water. We're talking a little bit. We're cracking jokes. We're talking shit, and then we're changing shirts, and we're going into a new episode. So there's a, a transition time in between, and that's in between different, this, the same type of thing of this recording, but imagine going from a disciplinary meeting with one of your employees into a sales meeting with your team into a call with a prospect. Three very different dynamics. You need three very different types of, of leadership and energy into each one of those things. So in between each, you need that transition time to kind of release the stress and anxiety and tension and maybe negativity from one thing so that it doesn't bleed over into the next area. You need that transition time between these time blocks, between these different activities. All right, so now you optimize that. So you're showing up fully intentional. You're setting the intention for each activity. You're showing up with 100% laser beam focused on the task you're doing, full intentionality. Now it's, all right, you need to not just create these things, these tasks. Then you need to think about, all right, what needs to be delegated? What can be automated? What can be eliminated? Or where do I need to elevate? Myself or the process or the system or our skills or our efficiency. And when it comes to delegation, you should never delegate something to another human that can be automated. And you should never automate something that can be eliminated. But then if something can't be delegated, can't be automated, can't be eliminated, 
You need to realize, all right, how can I elevate myself in doing this to do it better, faster, more efficient, create a system, a process, whatever it is. So delegation is the next piece of productivity. You need to be a master delegator in order to be freaking productive. You need to demonstrate what needs to get done and then delegate. We have a whole separate episode on delegation, so I won't go into that here, but just follow that system right there. It's all pieces of the productivity system needing to delegate. Realize you cannot do shit on your own. You can't just delegate certain things. Delegate the things that you have no business doing. Delegate the things that someone else could do better than you. Delegate the things that you don't like doing, that you're not good at. And then obviously you still need to be a supervisor in those things, but delegation. Next is, we had a whole episode on kill, skill, and chill. You need to know when to kill, when to be going all out to grind, when to have skill where you're focusing and working on your development and getting smarter and your skills, and then have a time when to chill. We also did another episode on stupid time, which is a level of the chill time, which you need to have that downtime so that you're regenerated to be able to learn the skills that are going to enable you to kill because you can't be killing all the time whole episode on that, but you have to differentiate your time blocks and your even days and sometimes even your weeks and months into kill, skill, and chill. This will make your productivity go through the fucking roof because in order to effectively kill, you need to put aside enough little bit of time, small amount of time for skill, and an adequate time for chill so that you can kill even better. And you're going to earn that chill time, and the chill time is going to make you even better skilled and even better at killing and getting after the work and the important, that high important priority stuff that we just talked about in the time blocks. Peter Drucker says, follow effective actions with quiet reflection. From quiet reflection will come even more effective action. It's a perfect summary of why you need to kill so that you can earn the chill time. And then the chill time is going to make you, that reflection on the chill time is going to come back around and make even more effective action, even more excellent work in even less time so that you have more time to do the shit you want to be doing or more time to create more excellent work. And the freakified version of that is really after kill time, you need and you have earned chill time. And the chill time will create even more effective kill time. Let that sink in. So, You need to set the outcome that you want and then forget it. Then focus on these disciplines and habits that are going to lead to the outcome. Then you need to learn the cheat codes. You need to learn to cheat. Learn to get the performance enhancers like sleep. We have entire episodes on all this stuff. Improving your sleep, knowing the strategy attacks that are going to give you the, the best quality, most regenerative sleep, getting your environment as cold as possible, as dark as possible, as quiet as possible, cutting off your screens a certain time before you sleep, cutting off your food and drinks, liquids at all, and alcohol and caffeine a certain time before you sleep, knowing what each of those is for yourself. We're not going to go into that too much because again, separate episodes of that were just a culmination of so many different episodes we did, so many ideas and concepts together for the overall idea of productivity. So the first performance enhancer is always sleep. Always the first thing I go to when someone tells me they're overwhelmed, they're burnt out, they're not feeling right, they're not being productive enough is we break apart their sleep. And then we go into that kill, chill, and skill. Then we talk about meditation, which is in the morning routine. Then we talk about those transitions, about in-between activities, having that, that little mini chill time, that little mini stupid time, downtime, recovery time, in between tasks from one task to another that we just talked about. Then we talk about that excellence planning. Then we talk about delegation. And then, yeah, on top of that, you can have your nutrition is a huge part, having the right energy, not eating a bunch of shit. Whole episode we did on nutrition also. So you know, usually when you're eating shit, you kind of shit that makes you sluggish and drags you down. Then there's also making supplementation to whatever else you need. And, And that could be your green tea, your caffeine, your coffee, whatever you need, making sure you get enough different vitamins, enough recovery from your workouts so you're not breaking down and in recovery mode all the time. And then when you build up all that, that right type of energy and this type of energy, you need to protect that energy with your fucking life by setting boundaries. Set boundaries, live boundaries, and enforce boundaries is what you need to do. We also have an entire episode on boundaries. You can go check that out. We don't need to dive into that. But if you take all these pieces, put them together, I guarantee you'll be more productive. You'll get a shitload more done in a shitload less time and have a ton of more time to either have more time to chill, 
more time to have fun, more time for your hobbies, more time for sleep, or how about this? More time to spend with your family, more time freedom with your family and your kids, and even more time to do more excellent work, which is going to lead to even more productivity, even more income, even more impact. Put all these things together, guarantee it, and then on top of that, get in to a group that's going to hold you accountable and help you be more productive, get into some coaching, get into some mentoring. This is exactly what we dive into almost on a weekly basis. We touch some kind of productivity. You can see all these different angles that lead to productivity, which lead to more impact, which lead to more income. It's exactly what we attack in the Freak Father Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program where we focus on the mindset, the muscles, the money, the mastery, the mission, and the meaning of man, where I'm helping entrepreneur fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they could build more muscle, make more money than ever, have more meaning as a husband, as a father, as a man, so they can attack their mission and create their ideal freak freedom lifestyle with time freedom for their families. We dig into this productivity literally on a weekly and even sometimes daily basis in our community chats and our community programs that we were on online. And then we meet once a week on Zoom and we attack this shit and hold each other accountable for this and dig and dive deep and dark and dirty into this every freaking week. So if you want to step up your productivity to the next level, send me a message about the Freak Father Alliance and I will hook you up. But for now, follow all these steps. Go watch some of those previous episodes where we did a deeper dive into some of these topics. And I guarantee your productivity and your fulfillment and your impact and a byproduct of that will be your income going through the freaking roof with a higher productivity, where productivity, again, don't forget, is getting more excellent work done in less time so that you have more time to do the shit you really want to do or more time to do more excellent work. And it's just a force multiplier that just keeps multiplying on top of each other. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. What do you do to be more productive? And how do these different steps we talked about here work for you? Put it down in the comments below, and I will see you next time on the Steve Agger Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.